is a quick lesson about how we can use Desmos to find a line of best fit for a parabola passing through the points 0, negative 2, negative 1, negative 7, and 3, negative 11. So we can actually find a line of best fit for a quadratic function when we know three ordered pairs that lie on that graph. So they don't necessarily have to be a vertex or any specific point. We just need any three points lying on the parabola. So typically when we are looking for lines of best fit, we go ahead and plot the points we have and we try to determine what shape the graph is taking. Um, but I'm gonna tell you right now that this is a quadratic function. So in order to run our regression or to use the regression model, we're gonna have to know that the standard form of a quadratic function is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So we're going to, um, in Desmos, create a table of values with these ordered pairs. So we have our x and y, 0, negative 2, negative 1, negative 7, and 3, negative 11. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over to Desmos and type those three ordered pairs into a table. So in order to add a table, I'm going to um, click that plus sign and table. 0, negative 2, negative 1, negative 7, and 3, negative 11. And then in the second line over here, we're going to go ahead and type the standard form of our quadratic. We're going to have to go back and make a couple of changes to it, but I find it easier just to type out the whole entire standard form before we make those changes. So y equals ax squared plus bx plus C. And you're going to see that um, over here on the left hand side, we have that orange triangle telling us that we have some sort of error in our equation. Okay, first error that we have is if we look up at our table, we see that it's not just labeled X and Y, it's labeled X1 and Y1. So we're going to need to go back anywhere in our standard form where we see an X or a Y we're going to click after that variable and we're gonna type a number one. And you see how the um, computer automatically makes that a subscript. It puts it down below the letter. Okay, so AX1 and then we have BX1. So we've gone ahead and we've changed our um, variables to match our table. The one uh, last change we need to make is we need to change the equal sign to approximate because when we run regression models, the computer or the calculator isn't necessarily going to go through every single ordered pair exactly. It's looking for the parabola that can get the closest to the most points. So um, we're going to change that to the little wormy approximation symbol. If you hit your ABC, you'll see that it's down there um, on the bottom row between the curvy brackets and the comma. So once we do that, you'll see that the param parameters or the variables pop up. So it tells me that I have an A value of negative two, a B value of three, and a C value of negative two. So I can now create my standard form of this parabola by saying Y equals AX squared. So instead of typing an A, I can now put that A value of negative two. So negative two X squared plus BX. So plus three X plus C. So plus negative two. And you'll see that that blue parabola lies right on top of that original green parabola. So we created our table. We um, wrote the standard form of our parabola, making those couple of changes, adding the ones after our x's and y's, changing the equal sign to a squiggly approximation. And then we have our a, b, and c values that the computer gives us and we're able to plug those into our standard form to get the equation of the parabola that we initially started with.